All right, I'm here at Esplanade at Artisan Lakes. This is the main main boulevard coming through the community. Uh, this is the gated Esplanade side of the neighborhood. So this is the community amenity center here. Um, you know, you've got a resort style pool, pickleball, tennis, exercise facility. Um, there's a resort style like freeform pool. There's a resistance pool, hot tub, all that. I'll send you a separate video on all that uh, from the builder. But there's all your, your pickleball and tennis courts are over on this side. And then over there you can see that's the model home complex. So this is the Bergamo model home. I figured I'd take a quick video of the model for you. So this is what they're considering their detached villas. They used to have paired villas in the community. So now they've gone to just making them detached villas. So you don't have a common wall with a neighbor. Um, the other one they have is the Matera. That, they don't have one of those available right now, but that's another one of their smaller, the detached villas. You can see that one's like 1,829 square feet. And that's a three bedroom, two, two and a half bath, where the Bergamo, is a two bedroom so you actually have you know a little bit more open living space because you're not eating some of that space up with that third bedroom little covered area on the front porch you come in you've got a, a, a little foyer area so you're not walking directly right into the living space and it's a nice open plan because they got that kitchen recessed back so you've got a nice big open family room, dining area, good sized kitchen, kitchen island. This one has the gourmet kitchen package, so we have to find out what options are in the uh, spec home that they have, but I'll get that list for you. So back to the owner's bedroom, nice size room. That's a king size bed there. Bath, get your split vanities. walk-in closet and you've also got a linen closet here and then the water closet for the commode so you've got your secondary bath here there's like an open den flex room area right back here and then you've got the second bedroom That's the door that goes out to the garage, and then you got your laundry right here. Garage door. And it's a two car garage. Okay, so the one Bergama that you had sent me yesterday um, is is under contract now. They sold it yesterday, but they've got two others that are on water. This is one. This is lot number 490. So again, you can see the stage it's at. You're probably looking at like a fall completion, October, November-ish time frame, I would guess. So this one has the full extended lanai. So I'm standing on the lanai right now. So you've got a pond that runs through there. Now you will have houses on the other side of the pond as well, but good sized backyard. All right, so this is the second Bergamo that they have available right now. Uh, same, it's on the same street, same side of the street. The only difference is you're a little bit further down on the, uh, on the pond, so you're gonna be towards the end of the pond. Um, and this one also has the extended lanai. The last one had a gourmet kitchen and an outdoor kitchen rough-in. This one does not, so it just has a few less options. 
Okay, so here's the back of 486. Again, you can see you're kind of towards the end of the pond here. But very similar, obviously exactly the same size yard, spacing and everything like that. Um, like I said, the only difference is the price is a little lower and you don't have the gourmet kitchen. You have the standard kitchen appliance package and uh, no outdoor kitchen rough-in on this one. Or the other one will have an outdoor kitchen rough-in you know, somewhere back here on the lanai. Okay, so this is the last of the three Bergamos that they have available right now. This one's a little further behind. Obviously, they haven't set the block and put the uh, they haven't set the block walls yet. Uh, the other difference is you can see you're backing up to the exterior of the community. So there's just a fence line and a landscape um, buffer there. This one also has the gourmet kitchen, the extended lanai, and the outdoor kitchen rough in. Uh, the main difference is going to be the, the the view from the back. All right, so here's your view at the back of the lanai. Again, just, you know, no homes behind you, of course, but you have the fence line and a landscape buffer behind the yard. Um, and there's where the, the outdoor kitchen rough-in goes. So right outside the sliding glass door on that inside wall.